assalamu alaikum in today's lecture we are going to talk about the shunt capacitance addition at the end of the line in parallel with the load whenever we have a voltage drop across the transmission line now in order to explain uh, the shunt capacitance uh, calculation that is required we are going to solve an example and uh, in that example we have uh, a load whose value is 1000 mva at 0.8 power factor landing is to be provided by the transmission line and the voltage level at the receiving end is 500 kilovolt now what we have to find is the shunt capacitance to keep the sending end and receiving end voltage same so we want vs equal to vr so both these values should be equal to 500 kilovolt now let's assume the values from the last example that we have solved for the shunt reactor case we assume that zc the surge impedance is 290.43 and beta l is equal to 21.641 this beta is the phase constant and this l is the length of the line we know that for the lossless line Vs the sending end voltage is equal to cos beta L Vr plus J Z C sine beta L I R. Similarly, the sending end current is equal to J one over Z C sine beta L Vr plus cos beta L I R. And from these two equations, we know that the constants of the transmission line or the transmission matrix constants are A is equal to cos beta L, B is equal to ZC sin beta L, C is equal to 1 over ZC sin beta L, and D is equal to cos beta L. So this is your A b c and d right and from the previous lecture we know that this b is actually x dash which is the rectance of the line and this c is admittance of the line so it is y dash and from here we also know that theta a is equal to 0 theta b is equal to 90 degree theta c is equal to 90 degree and theta d is equal to 0 degree so from these equation we know that these are the values of the constants and angles now in order to find the x dash value we have to use this formula that c sine beta l so x dash is equal to z c sine beta l we know the value of beta L that is 21.641 ZC is 290.43 putting these values in this equation will give you the value of X dash the rectus of the line which is equal to 107.11 ohms now in the question it is given that the load that is to be provided power by the transmission line is 1000 MV at 0.8 power factor lagging so we can calculate the apparent power of the receiving end which is equal to SR and it will be equal to 1000 angle cos inverse 0.8 right as the power factor is 0.8 so PF is equal to cos theta and theta is equal to cos inverse power factor so we have used this formula here so SR is equal to 800 plus 600 J M V A so this is the real power that is required at the receiving end and this is the reactive power that is required at the receiving end as we have assumed that the line is lossless 
So the maximum power transform formula we calculated before tells us that the multiplication of Vs Vr over x dash into sine delta. So this is your transmission angle. Right? So we know that we want to keep these two voltages equal. Right? So the voltage value is 500 kilovolt. We also know that the PR value here is 800 and we calculated the x dash value here. This is 107.11 ohms. So using these values we can calculate the transmission angle which is delta. So the formula will become 800 is equal to 500 into 500 divided by 107.11 sine delta and the delta value will be equal to 20.044 degree right so if delta angle is 20.04 degree then the power that will be received at the receiving end equal to 800 watts 800 megawatts right now in order to calculate the reactive power that is required at the receiving end we will use the formula qr is equal to vs into vr over x dash cos delta minus vr square divided by x dash cos beta l we have to keep that in mind that these are the magnitudes these are the magnitude of the sending end voltage receiving end voltage and this is the square of the receiving end voltage magnitude 500 into 500 divided by 107.11 cos we have just calculated the delta value which is 20.044 minus 500 square divided by 107.11 and cosine beta L value from the question we know that is equal to 21.641 so if the delta value is 20.044 to keep the real power at the receiving end equal to 800 megawatts what will be the QR value we have to calculate that and this formula will give us that QR value and that QR value will be equal to 23.15 MVAR so if the delta value that we calculated previously using the formula for the maximum power transfer which we have made equal to 800 it was 20.044 right and by putting that delta value in the reactive power at the receiving end formula we got that if the delta is 20.044 and beta L is this and we want to keep the voltages at the sending end and receiving end equal then we will get the reactive power equal to 23.15 MVR at the end of the line but the load that is at the receiving end is equal to 800 plus 600 J MVA right so this is the apparent power of the load so we require total 600 Q 600 MVAR value of the reactive power but what we are getting is 23.15 MVAs so now we have to use the capacitors at the receiving end in parallel with the load in order to get the remaining reactive power now the required MVAR will be equal to QC 23.15 minus 600 and this will be equal to 576.85 J so these MVARs will be provided by the capacitor now to calculate the reactance value we will use this reactive power we know that Q is equal to V square over XE and 
xc will be equal to vl square divided by q vl is equal to 500 and q is equal to 576.85 j solving this value will give you x is equal to minus 4 33.38 j ohms so this is the reactance value of the capacitor that is to be added at the receiving end now in order to calculate the capacitance value we know that x is equal to 1 over 2 pi f c it is equal to 433.38 and c is equal to 1 over 2 into pi into 60 the frequency into 433.38 and the capacitance value will be equal to 6.1 micro farad so in order to keep the voltage at the receiving end equal to the sending end which is 500 kilovolt and maintaining the real power at equal to 800 megawatts and the reactive power equal to 600 mvar at the receiving end you have to add a capacitor of value 6.1 microfarad at the receiving end in parallel with the load thank you